I love Jesus, he's my savior. When storms are raging, he's my shelter. Where he leads me, I will follow. I love Jesus, he loves me. Oh, I love Jesus, he's my savior. When storms are raging, he's my shelter. Where he leads me, I will follow. I love Jesus, he loves me. Oh, I love Jesus, he's my savior. When storms are raging, he's my shelter. Where he leads me, I will follow. I love Jesus, he loves me. Oh, I love Jesus, he's my savior. When storms are raging, he's my shelter. Where he leads me, I will follow. I love Jesus, he loves me. I love Jesus, he's my savior. When storms are raging, he's my shelter. Where he leads me, I will follow. I love Jesus, he loves me. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, Deacon and Sister Polk. Good morning, Sister Jackson. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Shy. Good morning, Sister Banks. Good morning, Sister Turner. God bless you, Sister Pinckney. Good morning, Reese. God bless you. Good morning, Elder and Sister Dorset. God bless you. God bless you, Mika. Good morning to you. God bless you, Pastor Young <clears throat> and Lady Young, the Young family in the Rock Church of Brockton. Good morning, DJ Forgiven. Good morning to Mika. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Pam. Good morning, Brother Henderson. God bless you. And Sister Lisa. Good morning, Dr. Harrison. Good morning to you. Good morning, Sister Matthews. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Sister Sutton. God bless you. Good morning, Bailey. God bless you, sir. Praying for you and your family. Good morning, Lady Williams, Pastor Williams, and all the saints of United Refuge. God bless you. Good morning, Bishop and Mother Joseph. God bless you, your family, and all the saints of Trinidad, Tobago. Good morning, Duchess. God bless you, Brother Aaron, and your family. Good morning, Sister Kathy. God bless you, Brother Butler, and the family. Good morning, Elder and Sister Adams. Good morning, Missionary Domingo. God bless you. We're holding you in prayer, believing God for your healing. Good morning, Sister Linda. God bless you. Good morning, um, Elder and Sister Smith. God bless you. Good morning, Francine. God bless you. Good morning, Lady Alde, Pastor Alde, and all the saints of the Allegheny Diocese. Good morning to you. Good morning, Sister Nicholson. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon Grant. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Rita. God bless you all the way in Buffalo. Bless, and, bless the name of our God. God bless you. Good morning, Dr. Haywood. God bless you and your family. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Jackson Perry. God bless you, Brother Perry and the family. Good morning, Sister Mary. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Dion. God bless you. Good morning, Jewel. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Banks. God bless you. Good morning, Angela. God bless you and Deacon Davis. Thank God for your safe travel. We enjoyed the pictures. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Cheek. God bless you. Good morning, Brother Turner. God bless you. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Well, praise the Lord and good morning, everybody. And welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And as always, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to be able to bring to you a biblical meditation and prayer. For more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And I'm thanking God for his grace, his mercy, his covering, his healing power. God continues to keep us and cover us. Us. And it is a blessing to know that your life is kept by God. No goodness of my own, no goodness of your own, but God continuing to bless and to keep us. And for that, we are grateful. As always, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share it with us. If you're on Facebook, you can place it right into the chat or you can inbox Reginald Davis or inbox Refuge Temple Church. If you're on Instagram, you can place it in the chat. 
or you can direct message Pastor RJD, Pastor RJD. And to everybody that's on the conference call, everybody on YouTube or anybody can text in your prayer request. And that number is 336 Five six seven five three five eight. Again, the number to text prayer request is three three six five six seven five three five eight. We're adding them to the prayer list. We're praying over them, and we are believing God with you for miracle signs and wonders because we know, I saints, I say we know that God is indeed able. I want you to join me back in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter number. Four, and we're going to read again verses 1 through 9. Proverbs chapter 4. And we're going to be reading verses 1 through 9. The Bible says, Hear ye children the instruction of a father. And attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine. Forsake not my law. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also and said unto me, let thine heart retain my words. Keep my commandments and live. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Forsake it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. I want to continue the thought this morning. Get wisdom. Get wisdom. When Solomon is writing this text, he is writing it with the intention of encouraging his sons and not only his sons, but whomever will receive and embrace what is being said. Um, Certainly a parent wants to pass on their insight, their understanding, their wisdom to their children. But there are other people that need to hear because, you know, everybody didn't have the benefit of the same upbringing. Some of us, and if you were raised by loving and godly parents, there ought to be a sense of gratitude in that. Because of their guidance, they steered you away from a lot of things that could have very easily have disrupted or even destroyed your life. Um, I, I tell people all the time that my mother... Um, she kept me from some things because of her upbringing and because of her standards and because of her discipline. And a lot of things I missed growing up. I missed going to jail. I missed being um, addicted. I missed being drunk. I missed baby mama drama. And a lot of it had to do with the training and the teaching that my mother provided for me. I'm a diligent worker because of my father's example of hard work and um, saving and building capacity with what the Lord gives you to earn as a living. And so all of us have that. But then there's some things that I didn't learn. I had to learn them later on. I had to learn them from other wise people because my parents gave me what they had. But like all of us, including myself, we can never give our children everything. There's some things my children have learned now that perhaps they did not get from um, their mother and from me, but they're still learning. And so the notion is that every one of us should be actively seeking and trying to build and gather wisdom. 
And when Solomon uses the phrase get wisdom, he's talking about going after it like it's a prized possession. Get wisdom like you get silver, like you get gold, like you get a house. Get it. Go after it. Um, plan for it. Prepare for it. All of this to get wisdom. Um, get understanding. Forget it not. I'm in verse five. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Don't forget what I'm trying to give you. Don't forget. One of the saddest things is to be trained and taught and given um, insight and given understanding and given all kinds of things. Then to suddenly ignore it, to abandon it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at young people who I know were raised and who were taught and given good information, good guidance, good hallelujah understanding. And then somewhere along the way, they abandon it. They forget about it. They drop it to the side. But you need to embrace it. The older I become, the more I realize how much wisdom was in the words of my grandmother, my mother, the saints, my pastors, all of these things providing wisdom that is helping me now navigate through life. Hallelujah. When I was younger, I didn't always want to hear it. When I was younger, I didn't always embrace it. But as I began to see life unfold, I realized how much wisdom they were trying to provide to me. He says, forsake her not. Do not abandon wisdom and she shall preserve thee. Love her. Love wisdom. Don't you love it when God gives you information and you apply that information and things start working in your favor? When God gives you insight, when God gives you understanding, when God gives you a level, hallelujah, and a capacity to know some things, and then you apply them and things start working in your favor, not because it's you, but it's the working of the word of God and the wisdom of God being applied in your life. Love her. Love her. Love her. Oh God, embrace wisdom for what it can provide to your life. Embrace understanding for what it will provide to your life and she shall keep thee. Saints, there's a lot of things that didn't happen to me that could have happened to me because somewhere in the journey, someone taught me wise things and somewhere in the journey, I applied those wise things. I'm challenging everybody. If somebody's trying to teach you, take the time to learn. If somebody is trying to pour into you, take the time to learn. Don't be dismissive of it. Don't turn away from it. Don't ignore it, but embrace it so that you can live. Then he says in verse seven, wisdom is the principal thing. That means wisdom is the most important thing above every other acquisition. Nothing wrong with getting a good job. Nothing wrong with getting a nice house. Nothing wrong with buying a car. Nothing wrong with saving money and accumulating wealth. But in all of the getting that you get, Remember that wisdom is the principal thing, because if you don't have wisdom, you can soon be parted from your wealth. If you don't have wisdom, you can you can never obtain wealth because you never obtain favor. Wisdom gives you the capacity to obtain favor. When you start following God, the fear of the Lord is what? The beginning of knowledge. When you start applying that knowledge, you bring in the favor of God. And with your obedience to God, it becomes, it builds your capacity to receive. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, go after Pursue and get wisdom. And with all of your getting, with everything that you amass, with everything that you accumulate, with everything that comes into your life, get understanding. Understanding is designed, hallelujah, for you to have the sight, hallelujah, of God. It's, it's designed to understand represent, as you can represent God in everything so that you can know what God knows. God is trying to get you to know what he knows. That's why he's 
provided wisdom through the word. That's why he's provided wisdom through teaching so that you can know what God knows. Because when you know what God knows, it creates a greater capacity for blessings. So many of us never receive from God because of our ignorance or we receive and we lose because of our stubbornness. But when we are open to hear, to know, to receive, to be blessed, God creates capacity in us. And wisdom is that principal thing. Go after it. Don't let wisdom evade you. Don't let wisdom, hallelujah, take you. Don't let wisdom, hallelujah, never come into your life, but pursue it. Pursue wisdom, pursue knowing, pursue learning about God, God's word, God's principles, God's precepts. Pursue it, pursue it, go after it. The same way if somebody told you there was a million dollars buried in your backyard, you would dig up every piece of your yard until you found that million dollars. Well, I'm telling you that wisdom is life and is buried in the scripture and is buried in the teachings of other people. So go after that wisdom and receive it so that you can live, so that you can live. Exalt wisdom, hold wisdom in high regard, and she shall promote thee. When you start walking in wisdom, wisdom starts blessing your life. When you start walking in wisdom, wisdom starts blessing your life. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. When you embrace wisdom, that's how you go higher. God will give you wisdom on your job. God will give you wisdom in your school. God will give you wisdom in the body of Christ. And that wisdom will help you grow. And that wisdom will help your life to expand. She shall... This last verse, verse nine, she shall give to thine head an ornament of grace. Wisdom is the crown. Now, Solomon was a king. Solomon was the son of a king. So he was coronated. He was crowned as the king. He was anointed as the king. But greater than just the anointing of kingship and majesty, Solomon was anointed with wisdom. I told you the story of uh, a day or so ago that after Solomon built the temple, the Lord asked him, what do you want, Solomon? What can I give thee? Imagine God asking you, what do you want? And Solomon having his choice of anything that he could receive. But Solomon understanding the task that had been placed in his hands as the king of Israel said to the Lord, Lord, give me wisdom. Give me understanding so I know how to go out and come in. So I know how to lead the people. So I know how to operate in what you have placed in my hands. And God said, because you could have asked for anything, but you asked for wisdom, I'm going to give you some other things. I'm going to give you wealth. I'm going to give you splendor, but I'm also going to give you wisdom. And after Adam, Solomon, I believe biblically is one of is what was one of the wisest men that ever lived. His wisdom is noteworthy in the scriptures, things that he did, things that he said that were simply wisdom in operation. God wants to give each of us wisdom in operation, but saints, we have to pursue it. We have to chase after it. How do I get wisdom, pastor? First, get in the word because the wisdom of God is in the word of God. Then be around people that are wise. Hallelujah. You know, I've spent most of my life around people that were older than me. Hallelujah. It was just the way life worked out for me. My best friends were older than me, but what they were doing, what God used them to do was to pour into me so that I would be ready for whatever God had in my life. God is trying to surround you with people with wisdom. Don't run from them. Don't abandon them. Don't leave them, but stay there and get everything God is trying to give you through them. Hallelujah. Get wisdom, pursue it, dig for it, search for it, ask God to give it to you, but go get wisdom. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. My time is up. Hallelujah. And thank God for this moment. Thank God for all of you and thank God for the word. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Gracious God, I love you. I'm so thankful to you, God, for another day. This, Lord, is the day that you have made. And we rejoice 
and we are glad in this day. We are so thankful, God, for last night's rest. I'm thankful, God, for being able to come together one more time in prayer. Thank you, God, for grace and mercy to us. Thank you, God, for healing. Thank you, God, for the promise of the word that, Lord, you never fail. Lord, you never come short of your promise. Hallelujah. And I'm grateful for everybody on this prayer line today. And whether we've come by Facebook or Instagram or the conference call or YouTube, however we have come, God, we are thankful. Hallelujah, because we're in the presence of God. Lord, flood this prayer room right now with your presence. Flood it with your glory. Flood it, my God, with your power. And God minister to the needs of everybody on this line. My God, hallelujah, minister to them right now. Feed them, supply them, strengthen them, help them. My God, in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I'm praying today that you would remember, my God, every prayer request, Lord, that's been sent, hallelujah, by text or messenger or email that's in the chat this morning. We're praying, my God, for every request and we're praying that you would hear and answer answer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're praying for Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson today. We're praying for Irvin Johnson. God, we believe in your delivering power and your saving grace. We're praying for Mother Barbara Pittman, for Deacon Lewis, for Sister Sheila Reed. God, strengthen the heart and the mind and the spirit. We're praying for Stacy and Trayvon. We're praying for the Mason family. We're praying for Sister, oh God, Lady Lisa Kinchin today. We're praying for Sister Seneca Austin. We're praying for the Edwards family, the Myers family. We're praying for the Butler family, for the Stacy family. We're lifting up Jamal and Dakasha Greer and the Greer family. We're praying for Terrence and Manessa this morning. We're praying for Dexter today. We're praying for Hodges this morning. We're praying, oh God, for Walter Daniels. We're praying for Bernice Neal. We're praying, my God, that you prepare our hearts and minds as we prepare to go and minister in the Caribbean. God, prepare the ground. Oh God, prepare the saints that are there. Prepare the saints that are traveling. And God, give us a mighty, mighty move of God. God. We're praying, my God, for Jamal and Erica today. We're praying for Shakita. We're praying for Adrian. Oh, God, hallelujah, and Mother Gardner. We're praying for Ricky this morning. Oh, God, for your arm of deliverance. We're praying for Julie today, God. We're praying for Cheryl Rogers. My God, undertake, oh, God, and intervene in the name of Jesus. We're praying, my God, for Bishop and Lady Alday, for Bishop and Mother Wright, Bishop and Lady Jenkins, Bishop and Lady Harp Darby today. We're praying for Bishop and Lady Cousins, Bishop Sylvester Reed. We're praying for Bishop Clifton Staten today. We're praying for Bishop and Lady Wilkins. We're praying, my God, for Bishop and Lady Davenport, Bishop and Lady Diaz, Apostle and Lady Wallace today. We're praying, my God, for Apostle and Lady Keith, Apostle and Hallelujah Lady Parsons, Apostle Michael Fields, Apostle and Lady Barry today, Apostle and Mother Jack. An apostle, my God and Lady May, Apostle and Mother Clark today. We're praying, my God, for Deacon Grant's children and grandchildren. God save because we know that you're a savior. We're praying for Chris and Rhonda and Jason and Christopher. We're praying for Kevin and Cheyenne and Shania and Hezekiah and Johans and Mordecai and Nerziah today. We're praying for John. We're praying for Evangelist Tanette and family. We're praying for Deacon Nate today. We're praying for Stacy Singleton's son and wife today. We're praying for Joanne Durham and family, for Brenda Parker and the family. We're praying for Sheila Scott. We're praying for the Scott family, the Hare family. We're praying, my God, for the Brown family today. Lord, every name on the prayer list, God, we're praying that you would save. God, I'm praying for Eric today. Oh, my God, I'm praying for deliverance right now. I'm praying, my God, for every soul that is outside of the ark of safety. God, save and deliver. Lord, deliver because we know that you're able. We know there's nothing too hard for you. Remember Logan today, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, my God, and have your way. God, deliver, strengthen. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Remember backsliders everywhere. God, stretch out your hand right now. Stretch out your delivering arm. My God, and call them back to the fold in the name of Jesus Christ. And remember the burden today. Remember the downcast. Remember, my 
God, those that are in trouble. Remember, my God, the depressed. Remember the bitter. Remember those in despair. And God, lift them today in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, we're praying for healing right now for everybody that's sick everywhere. God, that you would touch and deliver. We're praying, my God, for Kathleen Murphy Jackson. God, touch the body in the name of Jesus Christ. We're praying for Cynthia Jackson Perry. My God, continue to grant victory and healing and deliverance. Oh, my God, to the woman of God. We're praying for Zebra. We're praying, my God, for Pastor Kevin Kinchin today, for Mother Lillian Sharp, for Mother Revis, for Mother Bryant. We're praying for Sister Jackie Poole. We're praying for Sister T. Lord God, your continued healing over her body. We're praying, my God, for Charity Stroman today. We're praying for Bo. God, I lift up Lady Davis this morning. God, that you would touch her from the crown of her head. My God, to the sole of her feet. We're praying, my God. Oh, God, for your grace and your power in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember Sister Golden today. Remember Sister Beverly Bailey. Remember Miracle Destiny, God. Remember Diana Williams. Remember Nikki Anderson Edwards. Remember Patricia Anderson. Remember Gladys Baysmore, Bishop Diaz, Pastor Spain, in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember Mother Grofrey today. Remember, my God, Sister Dallas, Deacon Wright, Deacon Malcolm today. Remember Deacon Frazier. Remember Josiah this morning. Remember Mary Baysden. Remember, my God, Tabby today. Remember, my God, in your name, Emma Mott. Remember Leroy. Remember Maurice. Remember Javon Sandy. Remember, my God, everybody that's sick everywhere. God, we're praying for them now. We're praying, my God, for Jean Harrell Long, for Jeanette Johnson today. We're praying for Francine Harrison, God. We're praying for Deacon Arnold Riley. We're praying for Elder Tony Lemon. We're praying for Betty, for Arita. We're praying, my God, for Annie Street. God, remember in the name of Jesus, Minister Perkins. Remember Daniel. Remember Xavier today. Remember Deacon Adams, my God. Remember Deacon and Mother Wilson. Remember Deacon and Sister Harrison today. I pray, my God, that you remember Phil Solomon. I pray for Elder Toll's mother, Elder Toll, Elder Dokes today. I pray for Mother Virgie Dubose, for Mother Mary Williams, for Mother Perry, for Mother Lloyd today, for Mother Meadows, for Missionary Janet Davis, Missionary Joyce Domingo. My God, touch the pain. Oh God, remove it in the name of Jesus. Remember my God, Missionary Gail Hardy. Oh God, heal because there's nothing too hard for you. God, remember Missionary Hallelujah Marlene Roseman. Hallelujah. Remember Missionary Jesse Brisbane. Remember my God, Missionary Hodges today. I pray my God, hallelujah, for Sister Denise McLean. I pray for Mother Elizabeth Wilson. I pray today that you remember... Hallelujah, Brother Carl, Deacon James Grant, Philip Grant, Pastor and Lady Winston today. Remember Bishop and Mother D, God, Apostle and Lady Keith today. I pray, God, that you remember, hallelujah, Bishop Alfonso Brooks, Bishop Early Dillard. Remember, my God, in your precious name, hallelujah, Mother Shirley Clark, Mother Evangeline Jenkins, Lady Andrea Maxwell, Mother Close today. Remember, my God, Mother Carol Coleman, Sister Shakaya Polk. I pray, God, that you would remember Bishop Richard Phillips, Bishop Richard Johnson, Bishop Clonell Williams, Bishop Gregory Wilder, Bishop Irving Taylor, Bishop Alvin Palmer, Bishop Larry Arnold, Bishop Stephen Harper, Bishop Brian Williams, Bishop William Jenkins, Bishop Johnny Davis today. Remember my God, Lady J. Remember Lady Williams this morning. Remember Mother Hardy. Remember Mother Viola Hallelujah Johnson today. Remember Lady Kathy Forehand, Lady Barbara Vincent, Lady Deborah Carter, Lady Pamela Davenport, Mother Stokes today. I pray for Apostle Herbert Edwards, Apostle Leroy Joseph, Apostle Charles Williams, Apostle Sylvester Norwood. God, remember Brother Wiggins. Remember Brother and Mother Sherrod. Remember Mother Garland today. Dr. Hayward, Sister Hayward, Dr. Hayward's mother. Mother Jill and Mother Pride, my God. Remember in the name of Jesus. Elder and Mother Dugan, Elder and Mother Murray. Remember, my God, in your precious name. Hallelujah. Brother and Mother, Hallelujah Chambers today. Remember Mother Carter. Remember Mother Moorhead. Remember, my God. Hallelujah, Lady state. And remember Minister Carr today. Remember Elder Tyson, Elder Smith, Mother Foster, Henry J, Brother Cliff. Remember Mother Tanaj, Mother Holman, Missionary Simmons today. Cynthia, Catherine, Hallelujah, and Duchess today. Remember them. Remember Marlette this morning. Remember Maurice today. Remember my God in your precious name. Hallelujah, everybody. Remember Dennis and Tony and Kimberly and Chris today. Remember Cynthia. Remember Mother Jackson, Apostle Moultrie. God, go to every hospital and 
and touch the sick there. Every nursing home, every rehab center, my God, everywhere, God, even in hospice, my God, you remain the healer. So touch and move by your power in the name of Jesus Christ. God, we pray today for the grieving this morning. We pray, God, that you would remember everyone that's lost a loved one, that you would strengthen them. Remember the Obama, hallelujah, and the Robinson family. Remember, my God, oh God, Elder Young and the Young family. Remember, my God, Bailey Austin and his family. Remember the family of Reverend Harry Williams. Remember, my God, District Elder Shy, Deacon Shy, and the entire Shy family. Remember, my God, Minister Carr and his family. Oh God, Sister Janelle Rousen and her family. Remember Bishop Davenport and his family. Remember, my God, Cheryl Wilson, her sisters and the family. Remember Kimberly Clark, oh God, and her family. Remember Mother Lady Cupid and her family, God. Remember Mother Viola Johnson today. Remember the Bethea family, the Bailey family. Remember, oh God, hallelujah, oh God, my cousin's family today. Remember, my God, the Brockington family, the Hamilton family, the Powell family, God. Remember the Wilkerson family, the Strange family. Remember, my God, Cheney Wilkerson and her family, Mabel Scott and her family, Sadie Harrison and the family, the Hugey family, the Hines family, the Bond family, Damius Simeon and family, Sister Lily Harris. Remember Mother Frances Spencer today. Remember Deacon Brown's family today, God. Everybody that's grieving, God, remember them now. Vanessa Moore, God, in the name of Jesus. I pray, my God, for Mother Walker and Mother Moya. I pray, God, that you remember Jaleesa and Jackie and Jerry and Takesha, oh God, and Whitney and Phoenicia and their families. I pray, my God, for Lady Maxwell, Charles Cedric and Mother Close and the family, Dr. Carter and the family, Apostle Phil Shekinah and the family, the Quarles family. God, remember, my God, in your name, hallelujah, Mother Harrell and the family, Mother Grant and the family, the Groover family, the Kramer family, the Hargrove family, the Blunt family. God, remember the Bynums, the Taylors, the Lloyds, the Carters, the Giles family. Oh God, the Meadows family, the Moyer family, the Perkins family, the Dockery family, Sister Pam, her mom and her sisters today. God, remember my God in the name of Jesus, the White family, Anita and the Brian Hopkins family, Margie and the McLean, Melvin and Street families. Remember my God, the Ransom family, the Jackson family, the Newkirk family, the Ned family, the Green family. God, I pray today that you remember Brenda and the Alan McNeely family, Sean and Monique and the Gary Porter family, Trell and Ryan and the Alan Williams family, Tommy and Michelle and the Clark family. God, I pray that you remember, my God, in your precious name, the Mays, the Dunlaps, the Purdies, the Sneeds, the Washington Fields family, the Winninghams, the Bankses, the Wades, the Middletons, the Taylors, the Felix family, the Zapata family, the Mannix, the Boodrums, the Gleans, the Arthurs, the Matherins, the Briggs family, the Phillips, the Taylors, the Josephs, the Davis family, the Allens, the Caldwells, the Hayses, the Moors, the Austins, the Harbisons, the Adams, the Austin family, every grieving widow, every grieving widower, every child, parent, sibling, loved one, God comfort them now. I pray for the body of Christ today, every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher. I pray, my God, for every bishop and elder, every first lady, all the pastor's children, mothers and missionaries, ministers and deacons, God, the young people of the church, Lord, musicians, singers, and psalmists, Lord, the entire church, God, strengthen the church, help the church, God, to walk in wisdom and understanding and to live out your statutes daily. I pray, God, that you remember, oh, God, first responders, essential workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs. I pray for school employees and students everywhere. Remember, during public schools, God, I pray today that you remember, my God, in your precious name, everybody that works, cover them, keep them, sustain them, everybody that that needs a job, God bless them with an opportunity. And everybody, my God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah that is on a fixed income. God, make provision. Everybody that's homeless, God, open doors in the name of Jesus. And God, look on this troubled world, trouble everywhere, trouble all over the globe. But yet, God, we look to you because you are the bomb in Gilead. So God, heal the land, heal the land from sin, heal the land from hatred, jealousy, and violence, heal the land from injustice, heal the land from racism and sexism, and let your church be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. God, we need you like never before. Touch us, strengthen us, keep us today. Hallelujah, and we'll give your name the glory, the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Everybody on this line, come on and give God the glory right now. Everybody, 
everybody on this line. Give God the glory right now. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. That's right. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Once again, this is our declaration for today. With all thy getting, get understanding. With all of thy getting, with everything that you amass, everything that you gather, get understanding. Don't walk in the world without wisdom. Hallelujah. Don't live in this world. And wisdom begins with your acknowledgement of God. Hallelujah. Wisdom begins with your acknowledgement of God. Hallelujah. So I want to know his word. I want to understand his word. I want to understand his precepts, his principles. I want to walk in his statutes. I want to live by the word of God because that's my life. And it's going to keep me and it's going to bless my life. Trust me, saints. If we walk in wisdom, we will see the blessings of God revealed in our lives. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for each of you. And thank God. Hallelujah. I'm trusting that this biblical meditation and prayer has blessed you and that your morning is off to a great start. Look, you can stay connected to Refuge Temple all day today. This prayer service is available on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Thank God for those that join us by conference call. Keep coming. Keep sharing the number. You can also stay connected through our podcast, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, and Spotify. All of them are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Let me thank everybody that sees and sows and shares with this ministry. Your gifts help us to do the things that we need to do. And we thank God for them and we thank God for you. And if you desire to be a blessing, you can mail a gift to Refuge Temple Church, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. That's P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. You can also give online. Our website is www.refugetemple in is in North, C is in Carolina.com. Refuge Temple NC.com and you can give on the donate page. You can also give through the GiveLify app. Just simply type in Refuge Temple Burlington. You'll see a picture of the church and you can make your gift there. Or if you have Cash App, our Cash App is dollar sign, capital O N E, capital R E F U G E, one refuge, dollar sign, one refuge, and you can make your gift there. And we thank you for your giving. I'm asking everybody from now until we begin to minister in the Caribbean being to join me in prayer, praying that we will have a move of God like never before, revival like never before, deliverance like never before, and we're trusting God that he will give us a harvest of souls. So we're believing God for that. We're believing God Hallelujah, hallelujah, as we travel for safe travel for everybody that's going in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So be praying with us now, all right? Please be praying with us now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Look, I thank God for the morning prayer family. I love all of you. I appreciate you. I thank God for everything that you share in your time to be a part of morning prayer each day. And anybody that's watching, anytime you're watching, we're glad you're here. So keep coming, keep praying. And as you pray, pray for me, pray for Lady Davis, pray for our children, pray for my father, pray for my sisters, pray for Hallelujah. My, our, my in-laws, our nieces, our nephews, our entire family. Pray for Refuge Temple that God would continue to bless us. And let's pray one for another that the grace of God might cover and keep us. The Lord grant us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we might live by his precepts. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom. Shalom.